It's it's not Groundhog Day, but it is Wednesday, everyone. It's Wednesday, and we've got rain here in East Memphis. So, <laughs> so we are we are at the gazebo. At uh, maybe I shouldn't tell you where we are. You might show up. I uh, know. We're at the uh, at the gazebo at uh, Marquette Park this morning. Kind of. I like that. We got more. We got more disaffected I tell you. Uh, my apologies for. First of all, good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday morning. Um, oh. And I apologize about Monday. We had some technical difficulties. Almost had some technical difficulties this morning, too. So um, it's a rainy Wednesday morning here in yes, East Memphis. And so we're under the gazebo at uh, Marquette Park in East Memphis, our, a different place than usual. And it's really kind of dark. It's darker. It's darker than it appears on, at least the, as it oh, appears yeah. on the. It looks quite bright. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, first of all, um, breezy. well, it is breezy too. It's it's an odd it's an odd morning. The um, if you have if you if you're a Facebook friend of mine, you saw already a post that I I've, I've mentioned this this uh, teacher I had, Mrs. Cecil Holman, through the through the years. And if um, if you're if you're a teacher. Or you know a teacher? Go to my personal page, uh, Facebook page and and send that, share that that post with a teacher friend of yours. And if you're a teacher, uh, well, first of all, God bless you. Especially if you, especially if you're a middle school teacher. I, as I've thought about the teachers who influenced my life the most, most of them were either middle school or junior high school teachers or elementary school teachers. I loved my high school teachers, no doubt, but as it pertains to influencing my life and making a, a, a difference, I, I, think, I think my junior high school teachers had, had an enormous uh, impact on my life. So much so that I tried to be a middle school teacher. I tried to be a junior high school teacher and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Junior high school kids are horrible. They're horrible. So I found my niche with 11th graders, with juniors. Uh, but if you're, um, if you're a teacher, uh, thank you for all that you do. If you're, uh, if you can send that message to a friend, who uh, or a family member who's a teacher, they may get encouragement from, uh, from that. I hope. Okay, we're going to get uh, obviously because of the restricted space, because of the rain and so forth. Our all of our activity will be right here, uh, in one little spot, probably similar to what you have at home. My guess is. Okay. Oh, speaking of teachers? We have a professor watching. A professor? We do. Could that be Dr. Tate Keller? It sure is. Good morning, Dr. Tate Keller. One of my one of my favorites of all time. And we have Mr. Frank Jemison. Morning, Frank. Good morning to you, sir. We have Christopher Mitchell who said, nice haircut. <laughs> Chris, you're it just is very nice. You're Look at just all that hair. Yeah, yeah, Chris, you're just you're just jealous, son. Look at all that nice yeah. curly hair. All that wavy hair from we back have in the day. Aaron hey, good morning, Erin. Good morning to you. She got married. She sure did. Congratulations on that. Awesome. On the on your on your nuptials. We have cranky pants. Cranky pants. Morning, Angela. And we have a friend of mine from a long time ago, David Gammon watching. Hello, David. Good morning, sir. Any friend of Ashley's is probably suspicious. <laughs> okay, <laughs> David is a suspicious, suspicious character. Well, let's get underway then. And um, if you've got comments to make, Ashley is uh, is here and she's manning, she's manning the phones, y'all. And I like to, I like getting the comments. Yeah. So uh, she would want me to tell you to like and share and donate. Uh, oh, and donate. <laughs> yeah. Might as well. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, uh, on that note, I'm glad you mentioned that because on that note, um, 
I showed you guys this last week, uh, my thank you card. To, thank you to those of you that have been supporting us through uh, Venmo and PayPal and uh, Patreon and through direct, uh, de I don't think it's direct deposit, it's just a check that gets sent to me automatically without you having to do anything, which I think is a great service. Uh, so here are, I added a thank you, uh, Orly, Dr. Orly uh, Weiser Pike shared the, uh, the Hebrew here. The Hebrew here is Toda. For thank you. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for helping. Hey, they to want to come here and throw dollar bills at you while you're ah, doing push-ups. Just stop. Just stop. I'm throw okay dollar bills at me. So, uh, so thank you. Thank you, guys, for your, for your support. Uh, we couldn't do this without you. All right, let's get underway. Side straddle hop. And listen, if you're, if you're not able to, to make any kind of contribution, donation, whatever, if you're not able to do that because of circumstances, I completely understand. I'm not... I'm not keeping a list of people that that have donated, and those are only the people I like. Uh, I don't. You most could be of, watching from the very beginning. Watch every workout, and we would be happy you're here, even if you can't. That's right. Give a penny. Even if you. That's right. Just because you're tuning in and making this not a ridiculous thing of me doing it in a in the corner of nowhere. So thank you for that. Uh, and yes, I don't know who's out no, there. He has I, never I, once said so and so is given. And I've never, no, no. I, I like to treat everybody the same, like, you know, like crap. Anyway, okay. No, I don't. Don't I know it. <laughs> Let's get started. Side straddle hops for 10. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Today's workout is something that I uh, usually call uh, the uh, the uh, standard kind of uh, gym workout. So we'll we'll go large muscle groups uh, exclusively to start. Then we'll move to the next uh, smaller muscle group, and then last with the uh, so with the words, smallest. This is Gary Thompson's favorite workout. I'm not sure that this one is. I think Gary's favorite is the standard. Oh, is the standard is workout. This is the traditional gym oh, workout, gotcha. which standard uh, and traditional, two different things. Two different, gotcha, two, di gotcha. two different workouts. Sorry. It's like Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> same, same stuff, same different mix. Okay, uh, dumbbells in your hands. We'll do a set of wide stance sumo squats. No press, just a squat on it. Yeah, I know, I know. So this is just working the uh, the legs. So we'll do wide stance sumo squats. Uh, no press. Here we go. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. Ten. One, two, three. One, two, Three. Eleven. One, two, three. Twelve. One, two, three. Thirteen. One, two, three. Fourteen. One, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. And we'll walk that off for just, just a second. Just a second. Um, I mentioned the story of... Uh, my eighth grade English teacher, um, and if you've if you've known me for any, any length of time, you know that I've I've written about her a lot because of the influence that she had on me. And so, what happened yesterday was um, my hometown has a Facebook page uh, called "If You Have Ever Lived in Fort Smith, Arkansas." That's the name of the page. And I've been a part of it for a long time. And so my efforts to try and find Mrs. Holman had all had come up with nothing. I had had no luck. I didn't know her first name. I didn't know any of the details of her life when she was born, when she passed away. I didn't know any of those things. And so I was, I had nothing. So just on a, I don't know, just on a lark, on a whim, I posted on that 
uh, on that Fort Smith page, my interest in wanting to try and find anything about Mrs. Holman. And one thing led to another and I was able to connect with her niece. And we exchanged emails back and forth and, um, and it was just such a wonderful, and I said before, uh, Facebook is a double-edged sword and I know that there's reasons to hate it. There are also reasons to love it too and yesterday was one of those e examples. And so uh, her niece, Sherry Tolliver, sent me uh, an article that she had written about her, her aunt along with a picture and I posted that. So take a look at that. Okay. It's very sweet. Thank you, thank you. Side straddle hop for three, ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Dumbbells right back in your hands. And we're doing another set of squats. This time, it'll be a quad squats. So legs together, feet together, knees together. Hold the dumbbells in the center of your chest and look up at something on the ceiling or the, in the sky as your focal point. Ready, exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. Ten. One, two, three. Eleven. One, two, three. Twelve. One, two, three. Thirteen. One, two, three. Fourteen. One, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. And let's do a little balance work, shall we? Yes. So plant your left leg, bring your right leg straight up, and just hold it right as high as you can for 30, 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put that down, raise the left leg up. And hold that for 30, 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Walk that off for a moment. If you're a uh, if you were influenced by a teacher uh, from, from your past and you've not reached out to them, not tried to find them to make some connection, let me encourage you to, to do that. I'm blessed with having a lot of my former students as Facebook friends. In fact, some of them are tuning in right now. Uh, I, didn't have that, I didn't have that pleasure where Mrs. Holman was concerned. So if you can, reach out and tell that teacher. That's really why they do it. I mean, no one goes into education for the money. Trust me when I tell you that. Just like no one goes into law enforcement or firefighting or uh, any number of other professions. No one, no one goes into education for the big bucks, that's for sure. Okay, dumbbells right back in your hands. We'll do a set of stationary lunges. Left leg forward, right leg back. Here we go. Left leg forward, right leg back. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. One, two, three. And switch. Let's go the other way now. Right leg forward, left leg back, ready? Exercise, one, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three, there we go. Put the dumbbells down, side straddle hops. For three, ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. We'll walk that off for just a moment.
Let me know about the sound. Because we're under a roof, this gazebo, I hear an echo. I hear, but I don't know if you guys hear an echo or not. Let me know yeah. if the sound, no, not, said. not that there's anything I can do about it, but I'd just be <laughs> curious if there's an echo. Say good morning to Jenny Rudemiller. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning to you. And Pam Torres. Pam. Hey, Pam. How are you? Are, are you? Are you still in Guam? Are you in Japan? Where are you? Can you tell? I know it's probably classified information, but you know um, Pam is a Navy doctor or a Navy nurse uh, and a former boot camper. Joined, joined up the Navy a few years ago and has been overseas for uh, a whole lot of it. Uh, she was in Guam when the um, the uh, aircraft carrier that had the captain who was relieved of duty for his, you'll remember that, she was in Guam treating COVID patients then. Okay, uh, on your match, we're gonna, we're going to set the quads. Oh, yeah. Set the quads. So what you'll need is, of course, you'll need a, you need a towel, a rolled up towel maybe, or anything that would be uh, something similar. I rolled uh, up my mat. A foam, a foam roller would work. Uh, roll up your mat. That would work too. Just I've got a. Sit on the back and roll up the front. <laughs> <laughs> sit in the back and roll up the front. Isn't so that like a, the, a mullet? Like the, the mullet of exercise equipment. That's right. Crazy. Uh, so I've got a towel rolled up and with a bandana tied around it. So what we're going to do is, uh, we'll put this. I'm going to put this under my knees, and then, then I'm going to. I'm gonna tighten up, tighten up my quads, point your toes back toward you, tighten up your quads. We'll be doing this for one minute and go. We're on the clock. This is really the primary leg exercise that gets it for you, isn't it? It's the only one that seems to The only one that legs. does. And I've heard, I mean, for days where I feel it. You'll be sore. Isn't that days. interesting? That's an interesting thing. As I've mentioned before, setting the quads, I, I, I didn't know this exercise um, until I had knee surgery in 2009 and part of my rehab um, involved this because I couldn't really bend my knee, my knees very much for, the, for rehab. So this was the first thing that I was taught and it's a good one. So if you have knee issues, um, this is one of those exercises that you can do that will um, it will stimulate muscle growth and muscle tone in your quadriceps without bending your knees. Okay, there we go. That's good. Now, no need to get up any. Just roll over on your back and let's crunch. I'm going to put you on the clock for this. Ready and go. We You're don't on even the clock. Have to roll over. What's that? We don't even have to roll oh, that's over. right. That's right. Just lay down. That's right. Just yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to roll over. You just. Lay back and get busy with the crunches. All right, we're crunching for 45 more seconds. I mentioned too that it was odd watching college football on Saturday. I'm a, I'm a Notre Dame fan. I earned a graduate certificate certification from Notre Dame, but I was a fan of Notre Dame football from the time I was probably eight or probably eight or nine years old when I read a biography of Newt Rockney, famous Notre Dame football coach. So I watched them play. That's good. That's good. Everybody up. So we watched them play on Saturday, but it just didn't seem right. You know, it just it just felt weird. The Irish won, but they have, as of this morning, I saw that they have postponed future games because several really? players, oh, several yeah. players, tested positive. Which isn't what you wanted, but you were afraid of. No, that was exactly what I was afraid of. Yeah, let me just say before we go to the next exercise, it's easy to get complacent because we've been living with this for a while. But y'all, the virus is still here, and we don't have a vaccine. So please, please, please continue to do all the things that we've we've been doing. Wear your masks, 
stay at home as much as you can, wash your hands, keep distance. I make Ashley keep six feet away from me in the house. Yeah, I never know. She might sneak up on me and attack. Who knows what'll happen then? Attack <laughs> Kind of like, you know, the Pink Panther. When, uh, what, was, what was that character's name oh, in the Pink now. Panther? The, the uh, Asian guy who would attack him when he, when oh, he yes. went into the house? Who was that? Y'all tell me. Side straddle hop for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. And people are out there saying, what is the Pink Panther? <laughs> okay. Dumbbells right back in your hands. We'll do a, a set of uh, stepping lunges. John Day says, good morning, my Memphis friends. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, sir. How are things up in Jackson, Tennessee? His wife's having surgery tomorrow. Oh. Hip surgery. Well, good luck with that. Okay, well these are going to be stepping lunges. So you step forward with the left leg, then step back, then step forward with the right leg, then step back. Here we go, left leg going first, ready, exercise. And one, two, three, and you'll say one, and one, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Five. One, two, three, six. six. One, two, three, seven. seven. One, two, three, eight. eight. One, two, three, nine. nine. One, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. Let's do a little uh, agilities. I think we have, you probably have enough space to do the uh, two step. Heisman Trophy drill, I do. Oh yeah. So we'll do uh, the two-step Heisman for 30 seconds. Ready and go. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two, six. One, two, seven. One, two, eight. One, two, nine. One, two, ten. One, two, eleven. One, two, twelve. One, two, thirteen. One, two, fourteen. One, two. 15. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. And we'll walk that off for just a minute. We can see our twisted tree from here. We sure can. That, that picture turned out better than really? I thought it would. It was, uh... It was the inspector's butler, Kato. How could I, how could I forget Kato? Kato is, that's exactly right. Kato. Well, yeah. That was spelled with a K and not a C. Isn't that right? I can't remember. I think, I think his name I was. I think they wrote it out very often. Well, in the credits, I, see. I think it was, I think it was a K. Y'all out there, tell me how you, how Kato's name was spelled with a C or a K. And I'll tell a, I'll tell a story about <coughs> Kato with a C in just a second. I have a story. Wh what? You have a what story. <laughs> did you did you really just reference that guy? Okay. On your stomach, y'all. Time for a little set of push-ups. Oh yeah. Time for a little set of push-ups. So um, if, you're, if you're new to push-ups or push-ups are hard and you're waiting for them to become easier, well, uh, take, take a number and get behind me somewhere. I'm still waiting for them to get easier after all of these years of doing them. So if you can't do what some people call the sort of a strict military style push-up from your hands and toes, and uh, if, that's, if that's impossible for you, then go ahead and do them from at least one knee. Maybe you might have to use two knees. But if if there's a chance that you could do a couple from your toes, try that, and then you can then you can uh, modify that as you go. And I'll count these a little slower so that everybody can can get good form. We'll start in the down position. Ready? Exercise. Marine Corps. What Marine did? Corps. What? Well, because you didn't say. I didn't. I so didn't. 
Well, I threw myself off. Did I tell you guys who I am? I think I did. Sergeant, Sergeant Tony. Hey, if you got, have you guys seen the video of my <laughs> of my time spent as a a children's television show personality? I was a I was a character. I was a character. You were awesome. Thank you. Especially when you said to brush your teeth and eat your vegetables. <laughs> Sergeant Tony says to eat your vegetables every day. <laughs> Stand by, push up, Marine Corps, Four. ready? Exercise, and one, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. Ten. One, two, three. Eleven. One, two, three. One, two, three. Thirteen. One, two, three. Fourteen. One, two, three. There we go. Don't go anywhere. Just flip right back over on your back and let's crunch again. You're on the clock for this. Ready and go. You're on the clock. Guess who is watching? Who's watching? One of our favorite people, Michelle Moss. What? Michelle? Hey, Michelle. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, hey. You should be crunching. I'm still a character, that is true. That is true. I'm just not playing a character on a children's TV show. <laughs> just a character in an adult TV show. <laughs> that didn't sound just right. a character. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. Remind me to uh -huh. have a counseling session with you. HR will be talking to you about <laughs> inappropriate comments made at the workplace. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. And you can roll right back over for a what? Another set of push-ups. Yeah. Another set of another set of push-ups. I was just thinking about the different ways that some of you guys are tuning in. Uh, our friend Marnie puts her phone in, a, in one of her shoes to prop up her phone and then she can watch the exercise, watch the class from, from her phone in her shoe. That's, that's pretty. Kato, it's Kato Fong. Spelled with a C. Spelled with a C. Kato Fong. Somebody is out there doing some good research. Thank you. I did that. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to be doing crunches. I know. He was Clouseau's Chinese manservant, trained to attack him regularly to keep him alert and skilled in martial, not marital. <laughs> skilled in martial arts. Okay. Let's do another set of push-ups, and I'll tell you about a different Kato. Spe also spelled with a C. All right, those were your regular uh, push-ups. Now we'll do a set of, of uh, modified push-ups so that you'll go down slow and you'll come up fast. So down slow for five counts, then up quickly. We'll do that for probably about 10. Here we go, stand by. Right. Push up, Marine Corps, Corps. ready? Exercise, one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Two, two. one, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And again, Woo. don't go anywhere. Just flip right back over on your back and let's crunch again. You're on the clock once again. Bicycle crunches would be my suggestion. Any style of crunches will work. Do tell us about Kato. Kato. Kato, the original Kato, was a Roman sen senator back in the Roman Empire days. He's a Roman, or a Roman senator who 
every speech that he delivered in the Senate, no matter what the subject was, it could have been, the subject could have been agriculture uh, issues in Rome, could have been the aqueduct system, could have been any number of subjects. And he ended every speech with, and Carthage must be destroyed. Oh. And Carthage must be destroyed. And eventually Carthage was destroyed. Uh -huh. um, Carthage was destroyed by Scipio Africanus. And I had a, one of my favorite Marine commanders. That's good, you, you can- I know his name. Was- Scipio Williams. Scipio Williams. And I wondered, at the time that I met him, I didn't know, I didn't know where Scipio came from. I hadn't, I hadn't uh, learned about Scipio Africanus. Okay, dumbbells in your hands, on your mats, on your backs. We're gonna do a set of flies and pullovers. First 10 will be done with your hands facing inboard, and then we'll do the second 10 with your hands facing your feet. Here we go. Hands facing inboard, ready, exercise. Go out for one, two, take it back for three, and that is one. one. And one, two, three, two. two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. Now your hands facing your feet. Ready? Exercise. Go out for one, two, take it back for three, and that is one. one. And one, two, three, two. two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three, four. four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. six. One, two, three, seven. seven. One, two, three, eight. eight. One, two, three, nine. nine. One, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down, but don't go anywhere. Let's just crunch again. Put your heart, we'll do some ab work. Hands under your booty. Make your legs straight. Raise your straight legs up to 90 degrees. And now lower them down to six inches above the deck. Raise your head and shoulders up. Look at your feet. Flutter kick them for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And crisscross for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. And no need to go anywhere. I'll just give you a second to, to recover. Give me a chance to get, get a little water. Catherine Speedley said good morning. Well, and good morning, Catherine. Later after school work. Ah, okay, Catherine. So Carthage was destroyed. Tony, do tell us more about the destruction of Carthage. <laughs> <laughs> um. Carthage was destroyed to the extent that they salted the fields around Carthage so that nothing would grow there wow. and that it would, it would be completely and utterly destroyed. In the Peloponnesian, no, it wasn't the Peloponnesian War, was it? Look that up, would you? Peloponnesian War. I should know this. Okay, dumbbells right back in your hands, and we'll do another set of flies and pullovers. This time what we'll do is we'll do them uh, at a slow motion count. It'll be four counts out, and then we'll come quickly back. So we're gonna just do flies. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five, two, like that. Just the flies only, hands facing inboard. It was actually the third Punic War also the It was the Punic Wars. That's, I got my Peloponnesian War, which was a war between. It's so easy to get those <laughs> the Peloponnesian War was between Sparta and Athens. Man, I'm, I suck this morning. Okay, here we go. Hands facing inboard. Slow motion out. 
come back quickly. So it's ready, exercise. Go out for one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Six, one, two, three, four, five. Seven, one, two, three, four, five. Eight, one, two, three, four, five. Nine, one, two, three, and freeze in the open position for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Put the dumbbells down and don't go anywhere. Just flip over on your stomach. Let's plank. Yes. We're going to plank in honor of, of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who uh, I posted a picture of her planking when she was 81 at the time. Okay, one minute of planking. Ready and. Oop, oop, ready and. Begin. One minute of planking. Of course, now she, did, she didn't weigh, you know, 80 pounds ringing wet, so. So maybe the plank was not as challenging. I did. I was going to say that RBG can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I taught, I taught world history as well as um, U.S. history. But, you know, I would have five sections, five classes of U.S. history in one section or one class of world history, and so I was obviously teaching way more U.S. history than world history. But so when we got to world history, I remember asking the students, "Okay, who fought in the Peloponnesian War?" And my favorite answer was, uh, "The Peloponnesians." <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> well, I did. I believe I did give him credit. But I was the only one that got the joke. Everybody else was going, okay, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, that, it was the Peloponnesians, right? <laughs> okay, dumbbells right back in your hands, on your backs. Now we'll do the pullovers. We'll do the pullovers in the same way that we did the, uh, the flies. So it'll be five counts back and then back, and then one count quickly to the starting position. Hands facing your feet, ready, exercise. Go back for one, two, three, Four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, eight, one, two, Three, four, five, nine. nine. One, two, three. Freeze for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. All right, everybody up on your feet. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. And we'll walk that off for just a second. You see that everybody's concerned there's a can shortage. So at first it was Coke Zero, but apparently. Finding it in the cans. Yes. Thank goodness I use those two liters. <laughs> but some people, I mean, you know, because in the cans there is more carbonation, it seems like. Oh, that, I guess so. But I just go through the cans so quickly, so. Yeah, don't I, don't I know it. Y'all, y'all, y'all need to make donations and contributions because Ashley goes through Diet Coke. You have no idea. We should have bought stock and Diet Coke. Should have. Okay, here we go. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, One two, three. Two. One, two, three. And the dumbbells in your hands. And we'll do a set of military presses. <clears throat> we'll do these alternating. Left arm first. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, 
three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten, one, two, three, eleven, one, two, three, twelve, one, two, three, thirteen, one, two, three, fourteen, one, two, three, there we go put that down and get it out of the way and what we'll do is we'll do our in place plyometric skip also known as the as the happy fill so it'll be opposite arm opposite leg like this here we go you're on the clock for 30 seconds ready to go 30 29 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 20 19 18 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I feel happier already. I do too. That, it's hard to be in a bad mood doing that. It's hard to, I never am. I can't be in a bad mood. I mean, I'm being in a bad mood because of the way you mistreat me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Give me some more diet coke. <laughs> I'd say you you made out pretty well at the, in the domestic duties department. I'm telling you. I'd I say, when I was waking up this morning, I heard you unloading the dishwasher. That's right. And then when I got up, you were folding clothes. Folding clothes. Yesterday, when I was on my conference call, you were vacuuming. Vacuuming the house. That's right. I got you trained well, sir. I've made you. <laughs> All right, dumbbells right back in your hands. I do the cooking in the garden. <laughs> and we'll do alternating Arnold presses. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, eleven. One, two, three, twelve. One, two, three, thirteen. One, two, three, fourteen. One, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. You know, Jenny Rudemiller said she is shocked that a dietitian is hooked on diet. <laughs> what diet? Dietitian, diet, okay, that was pretty. Yeah. But a lot of, most dietitians I know drink Diet Coke and it's all in the amount. So uh, aspartame, or aspartame, excuse me, has <laughs> been proven that it doesn't cause issues. It's all with the amount, just like we can drink too much water and it can kill us. Yeah. Okay, y'all, that's her justifying uh, 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 Diet oh, Coke addiction. I'm kick you in your booty. Hey, hey, hey. But yes, a lot of, most dietitians I know drink diet coke. How about that? Yep. Well, everybody's got to have some. Everybody's got to have a vice. I have diet coke. And yours coke is and diet coke. <laughs> diet coke and me That's are right. your two vices. That's okay. Right. Well, I can't argue with the second one. Some may say both are bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say anything. I lucked out. I was fishing way upstream Aww. when Aww. when you caught me. <laughs> so I All right, dumbbells. I, I out, I out kick my coverage. We'll do a set of overhead presses, alternating left or uh, hands facing inboard, left arm first. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Six. One, Two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, eleven. One, two, three, twelve. One, two, three, thirteen. One, two, three, fourteen. One, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. Woo! Um, if you're uh, if you're Facebook friends with 
with Ashley as well, I posted uh, a picture that I took of a tree right here in Marquette Park. So it's, yeah, it's right over there. And I don't know the story of this tree, but it looks like somebody had just been twisting that tree as it, as it was growing. Yes. It's the oddest. It's, it's very pretty. It's very pretty and very unusual. And uh, so you could take a look at that. Not right now. Wait till the workout's right. over, of course. Okay, we're going to do another shoulder exercise. This time, if your dumbbells are not too heavy, you can do lateral raises. Um, this is one of those exercises that if you can't do them with good form, then don't do, do them at all. And that's kind of the, the case with most exercises, but with this one in particular, because you can, it's, it's easy to hurt yourself with too heavy of a dumbbell doing uh, lateral raises. So with your arms just slightly bent, if you can do them and probably, I don't know, probably under 10 pounds, 10 pounds or under would be my guess. Uh, five pounds, you probably should be able to, to do that with five pounders, whatever you have, if you can't. So we'll do uh, lateral raises, uh, frontal raises, upright rows. You have a, your choice of one of those three exercises, or you can mix them all up. I'm gonna be doing just frontal raises. Here we go, ready? Exercise, one, two, three, one, one, one two, three, two, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, four. one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, six. one, two, three, seven. seven, one, two, three, eight, eight. one, two, three, nine, nine. one, two, Three, there we go. Put that down. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, One two, three. Two. One, two, three. And we'll walk that off for just a second. Um, I learned something new about my hometown yesterday that I did not know. There was um, just outside of Fort Smith was Fort Chaffee. And Fort Chaffee has a Memphis connection in that that's where Elvis went to boot camp. Uh, the barber shop that he got his first haircut, his first uh, military haircut, has been turned into something of a museum. Uh, uh, Fort Chaffee is no longer an active army base. It hasn't been for years and years. Um, most of all of the buildings that were on the base have been, they either burned down or they tore them down. And so the, the land has been used, has been developed for other things. But during the Second World War, German POWs were, um, were imprisoned at Camp Chaffee, at Fort Chaffee. I did not know that. And some of them who died in prison are, were buried there and are still, are still buried um, there. The, I guess some of the families maybe had, had the, the bodies of their family members exhumed and, and uh, reburied in Germany. But I did not know that. I, I was very surprised and learned that yesterday. Okay, dumbbells right back in your hands. We're gonna do a set of alternating bicep curls. Alternating bicep curls. Left arm first, ready, exercise. And one, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. Ten. One, two, three. Eleven. One, two, three. Twelve. One, two, three. Thirteen. One, two, three. Fourteen. One, two. Three, there we go, put the dumbbells down. River dance hops. River dance hops for five, ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, and 
We'll walk that off for Even just. I doing bicep curls, I, my shoulders, I can feel how tired my shoulders were. Yeah. Yeah, you, as I've mentioned before, you can't completely isolate one muscle group. You can, the best that we can do is to, uh, to emphasize one particular muscle group with the different exercises. Okay, dumbbells right back in your hands. This time we'll do alternating hammer curls. You wanna keep your elbows tucked into your side. So imagine that your elbows are super glued to your side. Left arm first, ready, exercise. One, two, three, and that is one. And one, two, three, two. two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. six. One, two, three, one, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, eleven. One, two, three, twelve. One, two, three, thirteen. One, two, three, fourteen. One, two, three, and there we go. Put the dumbbells down. And we'll do some more balance work. So plant your left leg, bring your right leg straight up. And we're gonna twist the right leg around so that your knee is pointing down to the floor. Sole of your right foot is facing up to the ceiling. We'll hold this for 30, 29, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Plant the right leg, bring the left leg straight up and twist the left leg around like we did. We'll do the same thing this way for 30, 29, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. All right, dumbbells were right back in your hands. And we'll do a set of tricep extensions. Oh, Put yeah. them back behind your head. Here we go, ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, One two, three. Two. One, two, three. We'll walk that off for just a second. Woo. And we're not done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what we'll do is we'll do the, the last three blades of the Swiss Army Knife. We'll hammer curl, overhead press, tricep extensions. Here we go. Hammer curl, overhead press, tricep extensions. Ready? Exercise. And one, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five, two. two. One, two, three, four. Five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. Nine. One, two, Three, four, five, ten. ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. twelve. One, two, three, four, five, thirteen. thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, fourteen. fourteen. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Whoa. Put the dumbbells down. Oh 
side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, One two, three. Two. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. And we will change gears at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take two minutes for some prayer and meditation. If you're new to the meditation part, you might want to use the time just to concentrate on your breathing, your heart rate. Uh, think in terms of staying in the moment, not allowing your mind to wander. We've got two minutes beginning now. And now you can come forward on your hands and flutter kick your legs behind you if you need to get some circulation back into your legs. And from there you can roll back to a catcher stance. And from the catcher stance, you can stand up straight, roll your shoulders back, breathe in deep and exhale slow. We are done all done, everybody. Turn to your neighbor. <laughs> I will turn to my, my good neighbor. I say, way to go, good neighbor. Um, I mentioned uh, on Facebook, Facebook yesterday that I assign a different subject for every day of the week and uh, spend at least 30 minutes on those days uh, studying and researching that particular that particular topic let me encourage you to do something similar things that you things that you maybe wanted to know more about but you never got around to studying it there's nothing that says you can't do that now so particularly now when you have a little bit extra time on your hands maybe. Uh, take good care of yourself, use your brain. Start, uh, start playing chess or crossword puzzles or uh, Sudoku or any kind of thing to keep your mind sharp. Read more, watch TV less if you can do that. Uh, I'm gonna see you on, what day? Friday. Y'all, do y'all have trouble keeping up with the days? I do. It's, I have to look at my, oh, it's, it's Wednesday. Have a great Wednesday, everybody. Uh, take good care of yourself. Uh, love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself a break. Don't be so so severe on yourself, except for some of you. You know who you are. And you are dismissed. Aye, aye, sir. See you on Friday. <laughs>